Hey yeah, uh, I am Brian and welcome to this at the movies. This time I went to see Happy Time Murders. So, of course, we always start with the cast. We have Melissa McCarthy, we have Elizabeth Banks, who is just an angel. We have Maya Rudolph, who I feel sorry that she's in this. Joel McHale, the fellows in community, and Stanley from the US office. He has a name, but let's be fair, he's Stanley from the US office. So this story takes place in LA, beautiful place. I got really excited because I love LA, but then straight away it was downhill. Disclaimer here, I don't actually like Melissa McCarthy and the fact that she's behind me just over my shoulder is making me feel a bit uneasy. Of course she was good at Bridesmaids, I know that's probably going to be the first thing that people do say and Heat was very good too, but in everything else since she has been absolutely dreadful. She is to movies what Amy Schumer is to movies. Now, Bit mean. So it is of course directed by Brian Henson, son of Jim Henson who actually created the Muppets all the way way back when when he did create them. Originally for Sesame Street I believe they're on first. But he kind of took it in a different direction. Of course it's the first R-rated Muppets movie, you've never seen one before. Come with the Frog has never been brandishing a handgun. But the problem was they overdid it. So the things that should have been funny they, they put in too many times and the things that weren't funny they also put in too many times. So it's just a case of, it's just a bundled mess of something. So you look at Deadpool. Deadpool is a movie that's obviously R-rated, but they use their cursing efficiently. So Deadpool might walk around and say something, and it's just, it's funny. They make fun of it. Step Brothers the same, if they just use humor correctly. They just overdid not funny things in this movie. And it's, it's, it's kind of sad to see, because it kind of wastes the opportunity to have the first R-rated Muppets movie. So overall, this film was very disappointing. Uh, even, ready? In my notes, I have a sad face. A sad face. Because that's what I had leaving the cinema. A sad face. So that is why I'm gonna give The Happy Time Murders three Melissa McCarthy's Over My Shoulder Looking Into The Distance out of 10 Melissa McCarthy's Over My Shoulder Looking Into The Distance. See you next time.